my favorite movie is is May, the movie by Lucky McGee. It's like um, stars like what is that? Angela Bettis. It's got like a young Jeremy Sisto in it. Um, Anna Faris plays like kind of more serious character. And I think that she's really great in it. I think it was, it happened in the, I think it was nineties right before early two thousands, but it's, um, it's a horror film and it's kind of like gory, but I really think that it's like this harrowing tale of like loneliness. Like that's not the plot, but if I tell you that, and then you watch it like it just like it's it sits with you different because you realize you know the the plot basically being like this girl she like she has a very hard time connecting with people and um it's it's kind of um her she, I don't know. I, with, I can't really tell you about it without spoiling it, but basically it's like this woman wants to connect and she's weird and she's off putting and it's it's creepy. And in the end, it is creepy. But in the end, it's 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 like sad because it's like you you realize what she actually wanted. Like she wasn't scary this whole time. You know what I mean? She was just lonely. Um, and I've like showed it to people before and they'll turn around afterwards and be like, so that was like really emotionally heavy the whole time. And I go, yes. And they go, okay, good. And then they turn back around. They're like, I like it, you know, like, and so, and like me talking about it now, I feel like if you went and watched it, like you, or read the synopsis, like you wouldn't even think that it was about that, but it's not about the gore. It's not about the actual physical concept of what she's doing. It's what she's creating and why she wants it. Based on your prompt, um, I guess like the comfort food movie, honestly, is probably like Empire Strikes Back. Like I've always really loved Star Wars and fantasy. And even like growing up, I love the Harry Potter series so much. And I think YA and, and fantasy is sort of very dear to my heart as as kind of my that's probably the other story besides like what I said about Broadway and stuff was just growing up. And that was such a lifeline for me. But I think in terms of movies, I think a slightly more interesting answer is um, there's a documentary called The Cruise. And it's about this guy um, called named Steve Levitt, Speed Levitch, who's kind of like a super genius, neurotic Jewish kid in New York. And it's just is a documentary about his life where he's just in a very kind of bad, like middle schmertz kind of place in his life. And he's like too smart, but also self-destructive. And so he's a tour guide. He gives these like he works for like Big Apple tour buses or something. And he's doing these like incredible like performance art level like tours around New York City for like largely like non-English speaking like tourists who sort of get that he's brilliant but can't meet him where he's at and it's it's sort of a documentary of a year where he's probably in his like kind of maybe like 27 and uh alluding honestly he was in jail the previous year I think for like trying to sexually assault a friend of his although that's not I had to like look that up after it's like he's just you know it's he's just in this betwixt in between place in his life where it just like He's clearly like people around him can see that he has so much to offer, but there's no way for him to kind of meet the world. And it's it's he's in anguish. And I I, I don't know. That was the movie that I played for my friends at my 30th birthday. And everyone was like, I think people liked it, but people were kind of on the phone. 